Okay, so there are many of you that want to go to PA school, but you're not quite sure if PA school is right for you. If you are among that number, this video is for you. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. So I am so glad you joined me today. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Take a look around, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. For those of you who've been kind of following me on this journey for a while, thank you guys so much for following me. So I have a question that was posed by Mimi and if you have questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below because I do answer them. She said, hi Adana, I suffer from migraines and fibromyalgia, which both cause some brain fog with episodes. I really want to go to PA school but concerned about the amount of information you have to retain or learn in such a short amount of time. I'm concerned that if I have a bad episode I may fall behind. My question is do PA schools work with ADA accommodations? I'm wanting to ask for the class syllabus several months in advance so I can read materials in advance so I don't fall behind. Is this something teachers in PA school would allow? All right, and so Mimi, this is a great question. Um, and I think that it's important for anybody that is really concerned about, hey, can I cut it in this particular degree or class or program, whatever it may be, that you ask these questions um, beforehand, you know, so that you're not kind of sourcing yourself out of something that you can actually be really good at. So the first answer to your question is, um, yeah, you know, in terms of accommodations for those of us that may have disabilities, absolutely, PA school does offer accommodations. Okay, that's the first thing that I want to say. Um, with that being said, the types of accommodations and what your accommodation may look like uh, is something that you would have to talk to the school about and you would have to work out with the school and their department that deals with student accommodations for those with disabilities. Okay, so I've had um, friends of mine that also required, you know, just a little bit of extra time or to be able to take the exams on their own, kind of secluded in a quiet place, um, maybe have headphones on, um, and maybe sometimes they needed like the questions read to them because they were dyslexic and they had to, they, you know, the, the words didn't quite compute how they were written on the screen or on the paper. So there were various different ways that the school worked with my friends um, and my the various different students that I've come across to accommodate them for the various different learning disabilities that they have. And so absolutely, you can absolutely have and find a program that will allow you to have these accommodations to help you succeed because ultimately, although you may have a disability when it comes to learning certain things that doesn't mean that your skill in practicing this medicine will be affected okay so that's the first thing that I want to encourage you all with um, secondly in terms of asking for the syllabus ahead of time so that you can read I don't think any program would have an issue with that I mean honestly when it comes down to it you're not asking for the exam ahead of time so that you can study for it and then you know like take it and you're seeing it ahead of time that would be an unfair advantage but having the material ahead of time just so that you're familiar with it so that you can give yourself enough time to actually grasp the concept that you're reading about and that you're going to be learning about I don't see what school would really be like no we can't do that and if they are they're not the school for you because that's what you require to succeed so ultimately the best thing that you can absolutely do is go ahead and ask the schools ahead of time what accommodations they have for those individuals that may have learning disabilities and if they do have accommodations how do you go about making that process work because sometimes you have to go through a different department and sometimes it's just through the PA program directly okay thank you so much for asking this question I really think that a lot of people have questions like this but just choose not to ask and then they and then they go about and they're like oh PA school is not for me but PA school can absolutely be for you um, just ask the right questions seek out the right material and information and you'll be fine all right, if you guys have any of the questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, follow me on Instagram at PA and on Instagram at Get That C University, you guys. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. 